It is a dead heat in the swing states, guys. Yeah, and quite a few of them. Brand new battleground polls show Hillary Clinton's lead is shrinking. All right, and they're cheering over where John Roberts is right now. He's outside Donald Trump's house and office, the Trump Tower. John? Hey, good morning to you, Steve, Ainsley, Brian. Yeah, they're going to be feeling pretty good at the Trump campaign today after a slew of Quinnipiac polls that came out yesterday that show that the big turnaround in the polls that they were expecting over the last few weeks finally is beginning to happen. Take a look at this. First of all, Quinnipiac poll in the battleground of Florida. It is now all tied up 47 to 47 in the state of Ohio. So incredibly important on the path to victory if you want to become the president, particularly if you're a Republican. Donald Trump now leads Hillary Clinton by a point, 46 to 45. Still some trouble, though, in Pennsylvania, where she leads by five points, 48 to 43, and in North Carolina, where the Quinnipiac poll shows her ahead by four points. But take a look at this. A Suffolk University poll taken over about the same period of time shows Donald Trump up by three points, 44 to 41. So some conflicting information coming out of uh, North Carolina this morning. Uh, today, Donald Trump will be at the Values Voters Summit in Washington, D.C., where he'll reach out to social conservatives, trying to energize them. He'll talk about the importance, as he sees it, of appointing strict constitutionalist conservative justices to the su Supreme Court. Uh, people that he likes would be in the mold of the late Antonin Scalia. He'll also talk more about his new plan for school choice for children who live in poverty. Yesterday in Cleveland, unveiling a plan to repurpose $20 billion existing federal dollars to, in the form of block grants to the states, which would be then doled out as scholarships worth about $9,000 to $10,000 to more than 2 million families initially so that they could pay for public schools outside their district, magnet schools, parochial schools, charter schools, even private schools. Here's what Donald Trump had to say about that yesterday in Cleveland. If we could put a man on the moon, dig out the Panama Canal, and win two world wars, then I have no doubt that we as a nation can provide school choice to every disadvantaged child in America. His running mate, Mike Pence, will be joining him at the Values Voters Summit this afternoon in Washington, D.C. Significant because it's the first time a Republican presidential ticket has appeared at that summit since it was created back in 2006. The goal to energize social conservatives, millions of whom stayed home in 2012. You heard Ted Cruz talk about it in the year running up to the primaries, that you need to energize those social conservatives. They can help propel a Republican candidate to victory in 2016. Ainsley, Steve, Brian. All right, John Roberts, thank you very much. And I believe uh, I heard somebody give a stat yesterday or the day before that uh, Donald Trump's standing now with Republicans is in the 80s, which is a step in the right direction. Steve, I heard it was 90, uh, as high as 90% in the uh, the last poll that came out, and I believe that was the uh, the CNN poll. They have 90%. 90% of Republicans are supporting him. Although a lot were standing off against him yesterday. All right, uh, meanwhile, you saw the commander-in-chief forum a couple of nights